good morning everyone so uh, let us move on to the next lecture so this is lecture number 5 so only one more lecture to go after this so in this lecture we are going to see about uh, the miller indices um, and also about the crystal planes how to draw the crystal planes how to name it so these things we are going to study in this lecture and also the uh, derivation for the interplanar spacing that is the space between two front planes so first let us see about the crystal planes and also the miller indices so miller is the name of scientist to given index according to the position of the plane in the three dimensional uh, view so that is called as miller indices the first, first what is a crystal plane okay. so here you can see a um, cubical uh, crystal so in this cubical crystal uh, uh, so the plane should be of different form Um, whether you can take it in the uh, faces or along the diagonal, so it should be of two dimension. So it should be a plane. So here you can see a different plane. It, uh, this is mentioning the um, face, front face. Okay, and here this is along the diagonal. Okay, so here, uh, here this plane is a triangular uh, plane. It uh, has intercept on all the three axes. Okay, so first, uh, what is meant by Miller indices? So exactly saying, uh, Miller indices means. so it's a set of three um, numbers to represent the plane it's a, a reduced form of let me tell you the definition if you want you can write or let me write here so miller indices miller indices or the three possible integers which have the same ratio same ratios as reciprocal of the intercept of the plane concerned along the three axes so this is the definition for miller indices So Miller indices are the three possible integers which have the same ratios as reciprocals of intercepts of the plane concerned along the three axes. So in this definition itself, uh, they have given how to find the Miller indices. Let us see the step by step uh, uh, process to find this uh, Miller indices. Okay. So here some notations are given here. I'll tell you next step. So these are the step-by-step -step process to find the Miller indices plane. Okay. So first, uh, you have to find the intercept along the axis. So 
So for example, you just consider this first uh, diagram, this one. Um, the plane considered is this, this plane. I just uh, say, you will say. So here, the intercept of this plane is along x axis. So there is no intercept in y axis or z axis. Okay. So if you extend this, um, it will uh, go up to infinity. Okay. So there will be no meeting point uh, at y axis or z axis. So you can consider that as. So here you have an intercept, so you can consider this intercept as 1. So as per this example, I am explaining. So for the first diagram, the intercept along the x-axis is 1. And what about uh, here, y-axis, there is no meeting point or intercept, so you can consider this as infinity. And Z axis, there also you have to consider it as infinity since there is no intercept along Z axis. So, this is the first thing you have to mention. So, the first step for uh, finding the Miller indices is uh, find the intercept of the plane along the three axis. Okay, so that's the first point. Second one, take the reciprocal of this intercept. Okay, first one is finding the intercept along the three axis. Second one is take the reciprocal of this intercept. So just to take the reciprocal. So one by one, so one by infinity, and one by infinity. Okay. So here, um, since we have no numbers here, so it is uh, you know. This is infinity, so the LCM is just uh, one. So here, this you can say one by one. For this, no need to take any LCM. So here, one by one, that is one. So one by infinity, anything divided by infinity, that is equal to zero, and one by infinity, that is zero. So the name of the plane is one zero zero plane. So you can consider. So finally, you have to write this inside the parenthesis, and this is called as the Miller indices. So first, how to uh, take the intercept value along the three axis. Secondly, how to take the reciprocal of that uh, intercepts, and third one more is there. That is to take the LCM of LCM of this. So if there is different number, for example, if we take this plane. We have some different number here one here, here maybe two here another uh, again one so the values will be different one by one one by two and one by one so there you have to take the uh, LCM and then you have to uh, find the value again so that I will uh, explain then another one example so this is the steps to follow so here you can see so the same thing they have mentioned here also uh, just consider the second one so first to determine the intercepts of the plane along this crystallographic axis okay so i'll give you the notes in um, bad format or you just take uh, you know, hints like this so first two point or you can say, say like this steps to find the Miller indices. So first two point take the intercept of plane along the three axes. Three axis. Okay, and second one, take the reciprocal of the intercepts. 
that point find the lcm so after finding the lcm you will get a uh, reduced form of the value reduce the reciprocal to all numbers and right inside the parenthesis so here this miller indices it is uh, written as H K L. It is named as H K L. So H along uh, x axis, K along y axis, and L along the z axis. So the same thing mentioned here. I have written a normal language. So first step, already I have explained uh, two times. So I think you got it. So these are the steps to find the uh, Miller indices, right? Now let us move on to the next one. Okay, now here we have a diagram. So this is a plane um, which has intercept along the three axes in x-axis. So this is x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis. Okay. So here we have given some uh, uh, naming like this. Uh, this is uh, having the value of 1 and uh, this is having the value of 2 so double the value of this so 2 so here also 2 okay right so x axis so as per the step so you just follow the just write in your note as per the step what is the first step so finding the intercept along the three axis okay so the intercepts are So first you have to write down the intercept at the x-axis in y-axis again that is 2 and along the z-axis it is 1. Okay, so x, y, z. What is the second step? Taking the reciprocal. Okay, so the reciprocals are 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by 1 okay so now the uh, lcm of this So if we take the LCM of this, you will get uh, the value LCM is equal to 2. So now you multiply this LCM with this. So add 1. So 1 by 2 into 2. Just put a comma here. Sorry, no comma will be there. Okay, so no need to put any comma in between. So just write down um, again here also 1 by 2 into 2 and 1 by 1 into 2. Now cancelling this, you will get 1, 1, 2. Okay, and this is the plane. So just write down inside this. So this is the name of this plane. Intercepts reciprocal taking the LCM and uh, multiply it so the reduced to form of this 
uh, value that is written inside the um, parenthesis. Okay, now I'll give uh, problem to find. So instead of uh, this value, we have to find along x-axis two and y-axis three and set axis two. Find the value and tell me the answer. Two, three, two. So first you find. So this is this is the intercept, and find the reciprocal LCM. Then uh, so it's simple. So it, We got the answer. Akash, have you got the answer? Three, two, three. So what is uh, LCM is uh, six? Uh, am I right? What's the value I have given? Two, three, two. That's it. Yes, yes. Okay, so all of you uh, got the answer. Three, two, three. Very good. How many? So everyone should do. Janak Shiv, Sandhya Devi, Niveta, Nitish Shankar, Vashini, Kutika, Vantika, Akash, Vishwanda Prachan. Okay, I think uh, all of you got the same answer. Very good. So this is how you have to find that. Mm -hmm. Miller indices. Okay, so in some cases the planes will be in uh, negative axis also. Um, so in our syllabus we are going to treat with only the um, in the positive axis. Okay, so no need to bother about that. So if there is any uh, negative access values, then you have to use a bar over this, like one bar or two bar. So you have to put a bar over that. So this is the procedure. So whatever the value, intercept value given, so you can find the uh, Miller indices value. So this is how you have to do the Miller indices. So the question will be like this. Um, what is Miller indices? Uh, they will ask you to define the Miller indices and what are the steps to find the Miller indices? Um, explain with an example. Okay, so for this, you have to uh, write down a separate. So, normally, this is uh, separately, these Miller indices won't be asked in the big question. Along with this, they will ask you to find some. Uh, find the plane names or they will ask you to share the planes okay so that I will explain the next slide and one more topic is there that is the induct planar spacing okay so before that let us do the uh, how to find the uh, name of the planes so let us see So we are going to uh, deal with only the um, 
cubical planes, sorry, cubical crystal structure. So first, we draw, draw the three axes, okay. and then draw a cube with a square like this, and in front put another one square. Okay, Q. So X, Y, Z. <coughs> so you can mention the uh, X, Y, Z value as per your wish, but you should be careful while uh, uh, drawing these planes and all. Right. Now, let us draw a plane. Of shared the plane which is mentioned as 100. So we have already deal with this particular plane 100 in the first slide. So here 100. So 1 means there should be an intercept exactly at the x axis and there will be no intercept in um, y axis and z axis. Okay, it should be parallel. So here this is perpendicular. To x axis so this axis x axis is perpendicular to this plane and this y axis and z axis are parallel to this plane okay so x y z so x axis is perpendicular to the plane so i'm concerned this one okay to the plane then y axis is parallel to the plane. Z axis is also parallel to the plane. Now, from this um, value itself, so the, they will give us the plane name 100 plane, rather 100 plane. So from this you should know how to draw the plane. So here, x-axis is perpendicular to the plane. So here, this x-axis is perpendicular this or this plane. And O E is parallel to this plane. And Z is parallel to this plane. So you have to say it like this. So this is the... Which plane? 100 plane. Now you draw zero one zero plane. So from this, uh, like this, you have to uh, just consider. So zero means this x-axis is parallel to the plane, and y-axis is perpendicular to the plane, and z-axis is again parallel to the plane. So that particular plane you should find here and draw the plane. Put it in the same diagram, sir. It came across the uh, y-axis. The cube shaded at the top part of the y-axis. Okay, which which face you go from uh, shaded? The upper part of the cube. Upper part. Yeah, very good. So that's our answer. Thank you, sir. Zero one zero, yeah, that's that's the right answer. Good. Okay, so what group is uh, that is right? Uh, so let me draw that. So you have to draw the similar kind of uh, a cube. Okay. 
so x y z and this is the plane the top plane okay so here you can see uh, this this one is this axis is perpendicular so this is x y z so this is perpendicular to the plane and the other two are parallel to this plane so this is the plane i think so then it is easy for you to uh, find the plane for 0 0 1 you just draw by your own okay ne next let us move on to another one type of plane 1 1 0 plane. so 1 1 0 plane so here also the condition is same one means the axis the x axis is perpendicular to the plane and y axis is also perpendicular to the plane and this is parallel z axis is parallel to the plane now let us see x y z okay so x y here this plane for this plane the x axis is perpendicular to this plane so no y axis here and the z axis both are parallel uh, which plane you can pens other than this uh, here you can so this one x y so it has intercept in both of this here and but here this plane it is not perpendicular it is uh, somewhat different you will get a different values so we can't consider this so it is along this uh, x axis and y axis but it is not perpendicular to that plane so no you can't, you can't consider this plane so this is wrong and uh, so x y so here you just to draw a line from here y to x and from here to this plane now you consider this plane so this is perpendicular actually you can extend this plane so this y axis is perpendicular to this plane and this x axis is also perpendicular to this plane but this is z axis is parallel to this plane okay so it will be like this like this in the standing position so here this plane is called as one one zero plane zero. so like this you just uh, draw this uh, one zero one plane and zero one one plane okay so you just draw a, a diagonal along this uh, two so the x and connect the other side draw a parallel line to that so here uh, x is it so you just draw a diagonal uh, which is cutting x and z so here this line this is it and x so that should have intercept along this x and z axis okay so for this second one you have to draw a line from here to here I just put a dotted line here and draw a parallel line above. Okay, then shade it. So that is the plane. Likewise, 0, 1, 1 plane, so that you do it by your side. So this is how you have to find the uh, plane. So normally in the question, they'll ask you to draw this plane by giving the plane name. Okay, 1, 0, 0 plane, 0, 1, 0 plane, and 0, 0, 1 plane. So Okay, so these six planes and one more plane. So that is having uh, intercept along 
three axes. So this also we have seen in the first uh, slide. Okay, so for this one 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 plane, how to draw this? It's a triangular plane. Just draw like this. It has intersect along all the three axes. Okay, so these are the seven planes you are going to uh, study. And other than this, mostly they won't ask any any other planes. Uh, in some cases, they will ask you to draw these planes by giving the plane name. In some other cases, they will give you the diagram and ask you to find the uh, plane name. So these are the possible questions here. So I think uh, I got the answer clear. So now let us move on to the next. Uh, Okay, now in the plane of spacing or D spacing. So in the plane of spacing or D spacing, which means the spacing between any two planes. So you can consider different planes along the crystal lattice structure. Um, here, the distance between two planes. So I will tell you how they have mentioned here. So first, uh, you draw this diagram along with me. So first, uh, this is the set axis as per this diagram and this is the x-axis and y-axis you draw like this okay now you draw the cube the square first and now one square on the front side Join this. X, Z, Y. Now you consider one plane is just touching this origin. That is where the three axes are meet, meeting. The meeting point of X, Y, and Z. Okay. So this is the imaginary one. We don't no need to draw this. And another one plane just that is just to parallel to this plane. Which means this plane is touching at the origin of this uh, three axis. Now here we draw another one plane. Okay, now you say this. Right? So these are the points. So now the intercept along x axis that is A, the y axis it is B, and here it is C. And the origin it is named as O. Now you draw a perpendicular from O to this plane. So it uh, just pass through the center of this plane. This is a perpendicular drawn along this plane. And this is mentioned as N. So O N up to this. This is O N. Okay, not outside. So here. Exactly here. O N. Just name it as this normal. This is O N. So the meeting point from O to this plane. So this is O N. 
and this distance is given as d. This is nothing but the distance between these two planes. Okay, so that is d. This is the inner plane of space. Now, here you can see the angle between the normal and the x-axis, this one. That is mentioned as alpha frame, the angle between the normal and the x-axis, alpha frame, and uh, normal and uh, y-axis. Okay, so x y is a y axis so that is beta frame and normal and z axis it is gamma frame so these are the angle that is the interfacial angle so uh, already we have studied the characteristics of a unit cell and also the parameters that is parameters there is axial length and this one axial length and interfacial angle okay so here these interfacial angles are given as um, alpha prime beta prime and the gamma prime okay. so all the sides are equal so that's why it is uh, given as a, a. so here a okay so this is a uh, first thing you have to draw this diagram and the construction, everything you have to uh, write by your own. So it will be given your notes also. You can follow that. First, what are the constraints uh, we have made as for this diagram? So that you have to write down in your own words. After going through the notes. Okay. Right. Now, how to find this D spacing? This is mathematically. So first, uh, this is O A, O A, O B, O C. That, that is a, that are the intercepts. So normally in the Miller indices, we uh, we will take first the intercepts and then we will take the reciprocal, and then we will find the uh, Miller indices value. So here, you know this H. K and L are the Miller indices. So therefore, this intercept is nothing but the reciprocal of that Miller indices value. So that's why it is written like this: O A, O B, O C. That is equal to one by H, one by K, one by L. Okay. So here, we just write down like this: O A. Is true O B O C that is equal to one by H, one by K, and one by L. So here uh, we have to consider a common uh, value. So normally um, A B C there is an intercept of plane. Okay. Uh, so here we just consider the intercepts value as a common value, take it as A. So O A, O B, O C equal to A by H, A by K and A by L. So this is the common value. So if it is different, we will take the LCM and also here we consider it as a common value is A. Now, uh, we should take the cosine values of this alpha prime, beta prime and gamma prime. Yes. Okay. So from this, this OA means A by H, OB is equal to A by K, and OC is equal to A by L. So OB and 
to a right now cos alpha prime so here you consider this normal this is o n a okay, here you will get like this o n a so this is in the space this o n is in the space o n a so you will get a triangle like this o n a so this would be 90 degree okay so o n a so you know and this value is alpha prime so cos alpha prime is equal to uh, adjacent side by hypotenuse so there is o n divided by o a so o n you know the value that is d there is a spacing in the plane of spacing d so you can write it as d by what is o a a by h a by h so d h by a got it now cos similarly cos beta prime is equal to so follow the same procedure um, so you will get so there will be another one diagram o n b so that is also a right angle triangle so you will get o n by o b so that is d by a by k so you will get d k by a and cos gamma prime that is equal to o n by o c so d by a by l so you get d l by a at the top so as per uh, law of direction cosines law of direction cosines so you can write cos square alpha prime plus cos square beta prime plus cos square gamma prime that is equal to 1 okay you know the value for cos alpha prime cos beta prime and cos gamma prime so here you can write d h by a the whole square plus d h by sorry d k by a the whole square plus d l by a the whole square that is equal to 1 okay next step for so here so you can uh, square inside d square get square by a square uh, so here d square by a square is common in all these terms so h square plus k square plus l square that is equal to 1 so our aim is to find this d so here d square is equal to a square by h square plus k square plus l square and so the final step is d is equal to take the square root throughout so a by square root of a square that is a square root of h square plus k square plus l square so the inner plane of spacing since it is in the atomic size um, there is a dimension of angstrom angstrom so this is the final step d is equal to a by square root of h square plus k square plus l square so this is for a cubical crystal the d spacing for a different crystal system it will differ okay so that's all for uh, today's lecture
if you have any doubt you can ask just copy down this so diagram is very important to know how to draw this diagram it's a very important question this is miller indices and uh, x spacing 